What is up YouTube? This is He Got Kicks. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Before I get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. That way every time I drop on these bangers, you guys get the notifications. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Do all of those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram at the real He Got Kicks. Follow the hat page at Perfect Brims. Of course, TikTok He Got Kicks 95 and Twitch where I stream sometimes He Got Kicks underscore 95. Today's video, of course, is brought to you by Soul Premise Sneaker Travel Bag. This right here is the big boy. Uh, this is the one that I use every single time that I go somewhere for a decent extended period of time because it can fit up to five pairs of shoes. You have one slide here, one slide here, and you know, miscellaneous stuff on this side. And of course, a spot right here for your laptop as well. And of course, the three and the four right here as well, more miscellaneous stuff. And here on the bottom, this big part right here can open up and that is where the fifth goes to so this is what the big boy is I also have a daily commuter they have roller bags they have duffel bags they've got just about anything they even have the shoulder bags so there's a lot of stuff with these that come with it so use my discount code he got kicks saves you 40% off 40% off on these bags is a lot of money and that definitely helps out with taxes and everything so you guys save a ton of money with my discount code be sure to use that it'll be in the description box down below today's video though <clears throat> is a different one you know we're going to talk about a, a topic that really happened over the weekend and the nike trailers in memphis they got ransacked they got broken into and a bunch of stuff was stolen um shout out to sneaker fetish he was the first one that kind of uh, i saw break the news about it you know i did kind of hear a little something over the weekend from one of my friends that live in memphis and uh, they have somebody that actually is in their family that works at the nike memphis D uh, dc and they kind of was talking about it so i kind of was like something happened i didn't know exactly what until today and so when i saw him tweet that out i was like ah okay so that's what happened so basically what y'all see in the pictures and everything that i'll throw up um, a lot of them got taken a lot of stuff got taken uh, and then like my friend actually sent me videos because like I said they live in Memphis and of people on Facebook selling these already and which stupid you're gonna you know go to jail for that because they people are gonna screenshot and eventually it's gonna get in the wrong hands that they don't want it to but you know you do a crime you gotta do the time but that's uh that was rough so basically they had cherry 11s get stolen canyon fours get stolen and the thing is like they knew exactly it seemed like what trailers to hit so that you know it probably was an inside job but a lot of stuff was taken what does that affect well that's gonna affect honestly like us whenever it comes towards release days and stuff like that and shock drops you know there was cases and I mean cases of midnight Navy fours taken and you know they're right now they're selling them for four to five hundred a pop and you know if you're in the Memphis area and people are selling stuff now I can tell you uh, it probably ain't fake <laughs> it's probably real but it's hot it's hot you know but it is definitely uh, Definitely not something, you know, I definitely condone. It sucks for people like us that, you know, either get it, do get it early legitimately or, you know, wait till release day. Because at the end of the day, it is going to affect the release day. It is, you know, because that means that whatever store that they were going to, because they were cases, it, it didn't, you know, look like too many single orders from pictures that I saw or videos that I've seen. It did not look like it was like single, you know, whenever they ship it out and stuff like that. It looked like the cases that you get that ship to stores. Like it, I saw a bunch of store labels and I was like, man, um, this sucks, you know, because those were going to stores to be stocked for release day. Now they're not gonna be there. So at the end of the day, really this affects all of us that are trying to get the sneaker for retail and you know i kind of want to get everybody's opinion in the comment section down below what do you all think about this that happened you know what uh how do y'all feel like you know because at the end of the day this does affect us it, it doesn't you know 
it doesn't not <laughs> like I'm serious like you know those were going to stores or they were going to the DC for a shock drop or going for sneakers or whatever like that takes away from everybody else that's trying to get it for retail basically and you know they kind of jump line a little bit you know but that it, it's it's a wild thing to happen this isn't the first time it's happened not gonna be the last I'm quite sure you know that's just you know what it is but you know it she uh shoot i have seen a lot of pictures from facebook and instagram and everything that uh man they they came up and i'm talking up like it wasn't just a couple trailers it was a bunch of trailers got a lot of stock taken and like you know the problem is those trailers just they do just kind of sit there you know so it is very possible for that to happen and kind of not gonna say easy but it it can happen that's for sure it's happened before but it is definitely um unfortunate for us that are out here trying to get these sneakers anyways like it that uh it does suck and but you know again i just want to kind of talk about it a little bit you know let you guys know kind of my thoughts on it you know it sucks and it's unfortunate that it affects all of us but uh we're i guess we'll just have to adjust because they ain't getting them back like they ain't getting them back like they are on their unloading sneakers like i saw cherry 11s for 275 and uh was it the chrome sixes or whatever for 275 i saw all kind of midnight navy fours for 400 a pop like it i i've seen a lot you know kind of looking at this and it's insane so again i just kind of want to get everybody's uh reaction and everybody's kind of thoughts in the comment section down below because it sucks it does affect us at the end of the day like this is something that you know we can't control and it's hard enough already to cop sneakers that we want and to get them for retail. This right here, this just made it, you know, 20 times harder. Like, cause it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't just a few. It was a lot. And I mean, a lot of pairs. Like I, I've seen people in close friends, Instagram stories, having boxes all the way up to the ceiling and like their SUV and you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah it was a lot but again i just want to kind of get everybody's thoughts and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think kind of air it out uh because at the end of the day like i said it does affect us so uh again you guys i just you know want to kind of talk to you guys about this today uh let me know in the comment section if you guys are new to the channel of course hit that subscribe button ring that bell that we get notifications hit the like button hit the share button i love you guys thank you guys so much um for you know rocking with me for so long i appreciate it more than you know and i will see you guys in the next video